Okay, so you say you want to start using your fusion tables. Go to your Google Drive, click on New, and More, and you should see it listed here. It won't automatically show up in the list of apps um, unless your, your admin administrator has enabled it in the back end. So by default, I don't believe it will show up. So if they haven't turned it on, you don't find it, to have them check. And what they would do is log in as an administrator. They would go to the console, click on apps, and then it, it, it wouldn't be here in the regular. But if you go to additional services, now these are just top featured services that are normally you can enable for everyone or not. If you close that, it's not uh, intuitive. You want to X that out. And then here, this is all services. You want to actually, they want to actually scroll through that till you see fusion tables. It says it's experimental, but it, it works fine. And what they want to do is they want to enable that. And you can enable it for everyone or just some organizational units. So if you don't want it in the younger grades, or I don't know why you wouldn't want it, but you can turn that on for um, particularly the higher uh, high school, middle school, science and math classes. It's very useful. And essentially, they would open it up, turn it on, and it would it would show up. Now, I think the first time you do this, they might have to send in a, a uh, request to enable it in, in the domain, but um, that that's, um, that's something that they'll show up on their their toolbar as they do it. So once it's in there, you go to um, again, you go to new, and then you'll see it. You click on it, and you can get started in creating fusion tables, which is a, a little bit um, you know I think there's a lot more options than just sheets, and you can create pull in data from different uh, public. Um, uh, websites and into your your fusion table as well as your own uh, Google Sheets. So good luck and what look at some of the tutorials.